seen your centers in Jelko Johnson and Jamal Claiborne. Yep. How do you go about developing that position moving forward? I mean, it's the same thing. I've always taught when they come in as freshmen, I always teach all of them to snap just because it's one thing. Kids, you can move from guard to tackle, tackle to guard, but that's one in the middle of a game you can You can never have enough of them. Um, so, like right now, it's me, even Elton and Martinez are getting a lot of reps at center, just heading in for these bowl practices here these five days and leading into spring will be the same thing. So, it's just to me to develop. Harrison Moon's been there for really all season as a third guy. Uh, but now, just to keep developing two more as we go along with Elton. You know, Deion Calhoun did as a freshman. So, again, it's always to have as many as you can ready to play that position. How valuable is Elton, the guy that can play multiple positions like that and really excel towards the end of the year at guard? Uh, it's always great, man. But to me, most of them, you have to, they all have to be able to do that. You know, I mean, it's, uh, again, getting, I always said, getting eight guys ready, eight, nine guys ready to play in a game. they got to be able to move. And I tell them all the time, it's, when you get the next level from here is there's eight guys that travel. I said, so you're going to have you're gonna have those three tackles, your three guards, and really your three centers. You know, one of the third center is going to be a, the guard or that tackle that can do it. Um, so, it's, again, it's really cross-training them, getting them ready if they want to play past this. You've got to be able to do more than one thing in one position unless you're just you know, stupendous at one thing. You know, you're a 6'8 you know, tackle or something like that. You can't do it. And it's a little different. But to me, as you sit in that 6'4", six, 6'5", six, range, you've got to be able to do as many positions as you can. You developed Jamal into kind of that center from guard. What, yeah. What's that process like to, to develop a center when they're not naturally playing? It's not. I mean, the biggest thing you always look at is they've got to be great communicators because they have to, they're, they're going to set everything um, in our run game and our protections. They're going to set everything. So they've got to be a vocal person that can communicate with everybody. And to me, as you go, snapping a ball is not anything that's great for you. You can throw a football, you can snap the ball. The uh, process of learning to do it when you know, on air, when you're doing it by yourself to get into a game, that's why to me these practices and individual periods is just them doing repetition, 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 and not, not have to ever think about it. Um, you ask those two right now, like, oh, this is easy. There's guys on both sides. You help them. It is a tackle. But it's the process of snapping that ball, but it's also the mental part before everything goes of getting everybody set. So it's just, again, keep getting reps at it, film studying on the field doing it. How are, some, how are some of those red shirts coming along and how important is the next few days for those guys? Good. I mean, good. They're, I mean, they're learning. They're getting they're getting grinded right now. Um, and to me, really, I mean, that's me, Darian and, and Greg and Stewart. And Stewart's been getting more reps with the, the twos as we've gone. We have obviously played them, but uh, he's been up a little more than the other two have. But to me, these days, are, they're valuable to have um, just to get them going to me. So it's like I just told them walking up the field was before spring practice starts. You have to have the understanding of the fundamentals, the understanding of the base scheme. So between now and spring practice, it's not everything's new. So these five days for them to get the reps, to get the reps, just live reps, to watch it on film, to correct them. So between now, January and February, before we get to spring practice, it's on. they're on film instead of watching scout team films. So now I can go correct them in January and February with all the stuff and get reps at it so we get to spring practice, they're a little more successful. Red shirts like that, do you want to see with just one position or would you might move around? Oh, I try to keep the one position just to so I mean, just let them so they're not mentally locked. So what's here, here's position, here's technique, go. And then obviously, as they mature and as they grow, that's moving them around. Um, you know, so me, Elton, like really lightly took Elton last year, was it left, and he played right. So he's gone left and right side. Now it was, again, we got down numbers with every guard getting hurt. Was, someone's got to go. You know, when it just was a point of, to me, being stable with him, going in there and getting reps. And when I said it to him, we didn't bat an eye, so great, go play. And now he's got to learn the difference in game situations. You saw it two weeks ago, you know, it was a little different for him where the last game was a, he was much more comfortable in just the change and not being out in space, being a little more bigger guys and faster guys. So, again, he's developed well in there, and he's got to keep going now, learn center. I was going to say, do you, do you feel like he's more comfortable inside? Uh, I, I, mean, I, I think he's just he's a competitor, and that's the biggest thing to me. Any competitor you got that put him anywhere they want to play, they're going to play, and they're going to learn it to, to, be, to go play in a game instead of, well, here, where can I fit? Is here, go start, go play. And it, it be a competitive nature that he is, he's going to learn because a he does he wants to be successful. Um, so to me, being, being competitive, he doesn't like to lose, doesn't like to be wrong. So to me, those guys you, you can't. Those are that's what you want to find first and foremost. He said, no matter where you play them, they're going to go compete. Now they got to learn things, but they got they're going to compete at everything they do.